Okay, welcome to another episode of Chop It Up with the Saint and Everything in Between. I am your boy, Effie Motherfucking Saint. Hey. Uh-huh. Hey. Good morning. Hey. Let's get it. Karibu sana siku nyingine siku njema I'm coming live and direct from the Middle East The Las Vegas of the Middle East of Asia Dubai Hey yeah man let's get into it so today i just wanted to talk about the fact that when you leave your country people think that you're making millions okay people expect you to start sending money the moment you land in the other country watu hata ujeongelesha for years wataza kukwambia eh banze niletee simu au manze nitumie ka kitu au manze nitumie hii na hile it's fine i don't mind that i don't mind actually helping i help a lot but you realize that before you settle down in a new place you will spend so much money especially on housing and food okay not even like turning up on nothing and not even like pray to god you don't get sick but you find that you spend so much money just settling down okay do you you start from zero hauna hauna hata sufuria hauna lolote so you can't even cook so you have to buy all your food and if you're living in a hotel that means you're even spending way way more on top of the money you're paying for say the accommodation you're still paying more on the food okay so then fast forward usha settle down you know your way around uh you know where to get cheap food here or there you know you have made a few friends so you're being invited over people are making braes and you're being invited and you're going i'm lucky to have lived in two different countries i've lived in south africa for about six months i've lived in dubai for a while okay but the point here is broken dubai like dubai is painted as one of the most beautiful most amazing most most gorgeous city in the world which it is though but they never show you the other side of dubai where most of the workers are underpaid um indians or pakistanis or filipinos and uh they never show you how they are living they just say we're we're going to um provide accommodation you know but they never show you how they're living they never show you they never even tell you how much they are making which is a bit sad you know because you find that you find that um their wage bill is around okay let me not say a wage bill their salary is around most of them especially the constructors the people who work in construction they're probably given 1100 dirhams that's 1100 dirham if you convert it it's around to kenya shillings it's around 30000 okay i'm sure you're thinking yeah 30000 a lot of money i'm telling you it's not it's not like Oh my goodness because the cost of living here is quite expensive and um you you can't save anything okay say uh, say example taxi drivers taxi drivers how it works for them they have a target their target is 3000 dirham so you have to make sure that in one month you have made at least 3000 for the company okay which is RTA But if you do not reach your target that means there's no salary. Okay? So they you reach your target, then when you reach your target you get your basic. And then after you reach your target, anything above your target you're given commission. Which seems amazing. But say 
times like now when there is coronavirus, no one is taking taxis, no one is going anywhere. There's no basic. You feel me? So in a month, in a month, you might get so mbili. I'm also that. And I'm not painting this as a as a as a as a bad country. Uh uh-uh. It's just how they do their things. It's just how they run their companies. Bro, say kung yasa no. Ama ni kani kama na paint um, somebody's country in a you know in 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 a bad way. But really, it's it's terrible. It's it's worse than it's worse than being at home. Cause home is a hustle. Home is a enda kumse. Uze uze ile, you know, alafu hakuna racism nyumbani. No one will look at you like you're a black man and so don't talk. Uh-uh. You're in your country. I hear from people don't even want to talk to you. And Indians, to be honest. Indians don't even they, they, they are brown skin as well, but they will look down at you as a black man just because of the color of your skin. It don't matter how much you're making. You know, sometimes, apart from hotels where people appreciate you for, it don't matter if you're black or white, they just want your money. In the streets, it's terrible, man. So when I, you see me post about racism and how people are treated and how, and how it, it asks me or it, it pains me to see like people get shot dead. Here you might not get killed. It's very safe. I don't catch a laptop. I don't catch a laptop. For hours, or you take patapo apo, amaramu take patapo. Security wata kwa na yo, very safe. But cost of living, how people interact, maniga like social groups are so small. No one will accept you if you're fucking, if you, especially if you don't speak Arabic. No one will accept you, man. Like I used to have, there's a park near my house where I go play football. And I'm telling you, say if Egyptians are playing, I'll go sit there and uh, and no one. I couldn't play a sub. Ata choke aji, awata ni pea. Understand? Like people are very, they're separated by color, skin, and language, and also language barrier. I found language barrier in South Africa was the was the most biggest from. In, in in anyone's existence cuz what we gonna pigana sana jua tu hajui kunini hajajua kuelewana you're saying one thing he's saying another you are saying the same thing but he's thinking of it in a, in his culture he's thinking of it in a very different way than the way you know it or the way you see it and then when they start speaking a language now you don't understand then now all hell breaks loose man you see niggas get stitched any yani? like the colors would always like job people farm and it's with jinga una dungwa mkidiki na kikiki una dungwa na kidungi kona mse akan nita kudunga na kidungi madanga mse akana aids kana ukimwi anyway fam like i'm saying like your home is always best home is always best So being broke into buy uh, so you have to at least manage how much you're spending every day okay you have to survive to less than or uh, at less than 50 dirhams a day okay <laughs> multiply that by 26 or 28 then see how much you have to spend in a day okay if you're taking a taxi it's not possible public transport is very cheap okay they have metro cards i would show you a metro card but i don't think if i have a metro card near me but yeah they have metro cards so uh, the 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 normal one platinum one it's 7 dirhams anywhere okay the gold ones and there are so many people well now with corona there's not as many and the trains are very clean and and yeah they take you you take it takes lo- it takes a place where you take like 20 or 30 minutes to go with taxi it will take you maybe an hour or two because there are so many stops and it goes around the city but you get there okay then they have the, what you call car lifts those ones you pay i think around 400 or 1500 i'm not sure i think it's around 1500 a month so they pick you at the door they take you to work and they drop you back mind you you're being paid around 4500 dirhams Okay. 
like the amount of money they pay you is 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 kidogo sana people who make good money to be honest Africans who make good money are the Africans working in the in the flight or in the flying industry okay the cabin crews the the pilots those ones make a substantial amount of money and also they are provided accommodation okay and also on, on top of that they are given um, allowances but the downside of that is you'll never have a family you will never have a boyfriend or a girlfriend if you are both flying you find that there's no time for each other you find you think you'll create time for each other but you're always tired flying takes so much you can imagine how tired you get when you when you fly or you 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 you, you commute from say Kenya to the states 15 hours the next day you're like out of it jet lag you can imagine these people fly like that they have like four or five okay three or four flights every week minimum sometimes when when flying was amazing they would fly at least 100 hours in a month bro so that takes a toll on your fucking health on your body so you're always tired and on top of that you you you're landing in amazing places you're in hong kong today you're in fucking paris tomorrow you're in fucking australia the next day and these are new destinations with new crew every time so you want to enjoy the place so that you'd find yourself going out most of the times you pick up habits like drinking a lot smoking a lot so basically your life is fly drink fuck fly drink fuck if you're not fucking then it's fly drink sightseeing spend money shopping you understand like your life does not progress like life should happen and those are the downfalls of the of, the, of, the, of that career and then say you have a family you will not spend any time with your kids you will not be as much as loving as you would want to do it you will not be there it's not possible you're in different time frames all the fucking time you know, you don't always have credit the people you're calling are not even trying to work with your time frame they're not working with your timetable you know it's hard if it's just for the money okay it's good for the single people people who understand that i need to get my money right invest it here or there and move on but sometimes you find that you have so much money you don't know what to do with it so you end you end up giving up to family you end up getting caught up in loans and here getting a loan is so fucking easy bro the moment you get a like an appraisal they would call you and say yo what's good miono miongo za mshahara unataka ka loan like i'm telling you it's more expensive to get a driving license than it is to get a car a driving license here would cost you around 300,000 no lie 7,000 dirhams no lie and you fail a couple times um but when you get it utapewa gari utalipa 400 kila kila mwezi so you see you'll pay your car in 6 years 7 years 10 years so anybody drives everybody drives here because they know you can't run away from 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 not paying that money the way their system is created you understand because also housing here how housing works you're given a contract a yearly con- contract where you give them checks and you can't cancel checks out here you try cancel a check you have to go to the police station and say why you are canceling the check so if you cash somebody a check best believe you will get arrested because there's no way you're ever going to cancel that check so they just ask for a couple of checks ask you for where you work where you live so they know exactly where you're living for the whole year and they know whose house that is so they have you all your details so akuna police unaenda and then they give you the moti that you're paying 400 and on top of that they'll give you like two years um insurance and two years service free service bro so no it's literally they're not going to be chukua enda go use it but that's how they trap you they keep you here for the longest time bro and people don't see that and that's it's not a bad thing i'm not saying it's a terrible thing i'm not saying that people shouldn't do it all i'm saying is you need to know what you're getting yourself into when you're trying to leave kenya thinking that you're going out there to get a better life you know sometimes that better life is not always is not always best sometimes home is always best you feel me times of corona maniga i'm telling you there are over 60,000 workers going back to their countries 60 fucking thousand 
because there's no more work. companies have shut down and on top of that they are not being provided uh, a flight home bro nambio job imeisha jipange bye bye and i understand it because who the fuck is going to pay flights when there's no money but they don't understand it because the loans that you have they still expect you to pay if you have credit card uh, bills they still want you to pay it if say you owed the government something this you still have to pay it you understand so it's not really a fair thing but the whole world is never fair but understand that you might leave your country and 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 be stranded in a in another country and you'll be broke as fuck so when people try like leave home and you go where be very careful what you're doing be very sure how you're going to make money understand this that home is always best home unaweza ukafungiwa nyumba unaweza kimbia kwa mama yako unaweza enda shags but when you're in another country man like it's terrible it's terrible and to, not not that i'm gloating or nothing but i see i see how people even dudes are here look at me when i do shopping simple shopping i bought five mirindas mirinda ni kama uh, fucking fanta some dude stop him like hey koni there is a party in your house oh i'm like why hey there are so many yo <laughs> such small things you know such small things show you how people are living and it's not nice man it's not nice there is this unga is called banku for the ghanaians if you're ghanaian you know so uh, we were trying to ask i was trying to ask this dude how how does this he worked in this tiny supermarket an african supermarket how how do you cook this do you eat this like i don't eat that i don't have money like what do you mean you don't have money yeah me i eat pounded yam and all this called pounded yam is like 4 dirhams banku was 45 dirhams Or me is straight up telling me me is kulangi you only have my sauce because the homie has to live at a very low cost for him to exist in this country something else that something else that happens here is mtu anachukua nyumba one bedroom alafu ana partition and i katakata oh my god i really should make a movie on this because this shit is ridiculous you're living like one two you're living like seven people in a two bedroom house seven seven families not seven people seven families yani nyumba sito imekatanishwa mara mbili bedroom ime inaishi watu watatu moja hiyo nyingine inaishi watu watatu on sometimes on one bed oh my goodness especially like if you came here say you're working in a supermarket so everybody in that supermarket they all live in one house you are like fucking 15 you're living in 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 say two houses so that means you don't have a social life that means you can't bring no bitch home that means you can't bring no dude home you understand and your working hours are crazy you're working for at least 9 hours a day or 8 8 plus hours a day you can't do two jobs because the contract that brought you here while you could residency they don't give you a citizenship here So you can't work any other job because you are attached to someone else. Okay? So if you go work for someone else then they'll be like, "Yo, on your contract it says you are brought here or on your visa it says you're brought here by this company." So then how 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 is it now that you're working with this other company? You understand? And even when you change companies, you have to go back home, they cancel your visa, then they get you another visa to bring you back here. You understand? Like the games are fucking rigged the tables are tilted if you can make money home make money home dubai living is amazing i'm not going to lie to you if you go to other countries like saudi bro saudi they have an app like fucking jumia where they sell house helps especially domestic workers bro una uzo kwa app bro you sold for 2000 dirhams 3000 dirhams and the, you don't say you don't speak arabic they don't care una chapwa i see people going to saudi i'm like are you guys serious do you know what you're going to get yourself into you understand but they sell you and they tell you oh live in the middle east work in the middle east there's money there bro how are you living out there boy it's crazy but 
if you still want to live my nigga live if you still feel like you can survive all that i but i understand that you can be stuck in a fucking arab country you don't speak the language they don't even see you as a human being and you will be in shit okay you'll be in terrible shit so be very careful um and uh yeah try and make it try and make it at home try and make it at home I'm telling you this try and make it at home like not all that glitters is gold straight up not every not not everything paid into you or pushed at you is amazing people will never tell you these things i'm telling you these things because i've lived them i'm telling you these things because i care i'm not painting don't get me wrong i'm not painting anybody's country in a bad, in a bad light and i'm not just saying this to look good or to be like uh uh-uh. uh i'm telling you facts this is what happens you understand when you get to the airport they strip they strip search me every fucking time for marijuana or drugs or whatever the fuck i i could be having because i can't be a normal human being who doesn't traffic drugs or doesn't fucking respect other people's countries you know like it's ridiculous so and 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 how people look at you or treat you like it leaves you with a bad taste in your mouth so you'd rather just be home you're happiest in your country make money at, at home kuam kulima try farming i'm telling you try farming two years from now utani ambia santi bro uli inside ya sana but don't just think of running away from your country or think that when someone is outside the country they're making millions or they're doing well they might not quality of life nah fam life just passes you by you come back to your country people are miles years light years ahead of you and you don't even have a family you know and you didn't even create the the bonds and the ties that you needed with your own family say if you had kids you know it's not worth it yeah man thank you for listening as usual raise your vibration protect your energy and lead with love love is the highest frequency fear the lowest f coronavirus power to the black community black lives matter over and out dancing on the lawn